I'm uh, Jason Nuttall. I live in West Branch, Michigan. Right now I'm doing uh, freelance artwork. I do a lot of commission artwork. Um, uh, other than that, I'm unemployed. <laughs> so uh, right now I'm pushing really hard to try to sell my work, try to get people interested in my, uh, my talents. So hopefully I can pay the bills. Where do you actually do your work? Uh, right here in the basement of the house. Um, it's uh, very cluttered and uh, my workspace has become very minimal and our storage space has become quite big. Do you like to tell us something about this Popeye picture? Uh, this is uh, an oil painting of uh, Popeye from the movie from 1980 with Robin Williams. Um, it's a part of a series of Popeye uh, portraits that I'm working on. I do portrait work now. I don't the, if I draw a cartoon of Popeye, it is, doesn't have as much intensity. It doesn't have the, the feeling that I'm looking for. And uh, so what I decided to do is try to uh, portray the characters in the movie uh, <clears throat> itself because I'm a huge fan of the history of Popeye and the cartoons and um, and the movie as well. So, uh, I'm doing Popeye and Bluto upstairs. Uh, drawing, of course, and um, I just want to do a full series just because it's been one of the biggest inspirations um, throughout my life. How much opportunity do you get to show artwork like that around this around this area? There are a couple of galleries here in town. Um, one's more it's more of a shop than a gallery, and uh, I've got some work in the, in both both places. Um, the one gallery. Uh, is the Enchante Gallery. They um, they were host to my first solo art exhibit in West Branch. I've had two others before that, um, back in 98 and 99 up north. I'm trying to get some, my work out into out beyond West Branch a little bit more, trying to find areas in Michigan and um, elsewhere to, to display my work. But um, being, being that I can't travel, it's kind of tough to do. <laughs> Of course, I want to be able to make money just because for the fact that you know I've got three kids and a wife at home, and uh, I can't really rely on uh, having artwork hanging in a gallery for three years and have nothing sell. So right now, I do a lot of portrait work, and, but which is a good thing because I do. That's pretty much all I do really is portraits. Do you think if you if you specialize in one particular field of art like portraiture, do you think you're limiting yourself? I, I kind of, I, I think I do limit myself, but at the same time I enjoy it too much to try to branch out too much. My idea of branching out or uh, trying new things is, um, a lot of people told me like, you know, oh your portrait work is great, your paintings and drawings are great, but you should do something different. Well, my idea of different was I started doing uh, block printing and I started doing portrait work and block printing. And actually in, in college, um, when I was going for my bachelor's degree, the printmaking instructor kept telling the class, oh, you know, don't do portraits, it's just too much work, it's just, it doesn't turn out for good prints, it's, uh, you know, it's kind of complicated to make a good print um, with a port, doing a, people's faces and stuff like that. And by the end of the semester, he was, like, praising the work that I was doing, he was very really surprised that I was able to um, do such nice work in portrait work while doing block prints, so. Um, and that's the only really the only way I know I, I know how to branch out is just try a different medium. So, so what I would like to do is be able to build a career in the West Branch as an artist. Um, I know that there's there are some artists who live in you know they live in Wisconsin, but they're very successful. You know they might travel to New York and do a, a do a show, or they might you know sell artwork and ship it. You know, so. I see, I, the way I see it is, why can't I do it in West Branch? Have you managed to achieve that so far? I've done quite a few projects. Um, I have to thank the technology with the internet, because um, I've gotten a lot of uh, clients through the internet who've seen my artwork or have heard, somehow heard of a story about me meeting Sammy Hagar. Or, you know, um, and they, they approach me or sometimes I approach them. 
and they like my work and they, they hire me and I have to mail out the piece. You know, I've got some artwork in California, some in Florida, uh, Wisconsin. You know, I've got, um, I guess my, I could be considered a national artist just because I've been hired by different people throughout the country to do artwork. I want to be like a success story for West Branch. But I, there are a couple of people I didn't realize were from West Branch who are um, very successful in what they do. And I would like to be one of those people.